Hey guys, it's Ingrid with Caratuti, and today I'm here doing DIY embellishments using doilies. That was my best Oprah voice. Um, anyways, I got these doilies at Restaurant Depot. It's a restaurant supply store, and so um, they're really cute. I mean, I got them for super cheap. I don't remember the exact price on them, but you know, they're just white, and they're they're just the one size. And so um, I've played around with them to see what else I could do other than just leaving them like that. So um, you saw I was cutting one up and then I'm just going to take one and I'm going to spray it down with some Heidi Swap Color Shine here. And um, I'm using, I think the, that one that I am uh, cleaning off right now and always clean off your sprays, but that one's teal. And then the other one is I think like a citron green. And I'm just going to combine the two colors together, which actually came out uh, very pretty. The color shine is beautiful because it's got just like a little bit of a glimmer and um, I, I really love using it on my pages. I have the Delusion Spray and I like that more for my um, like journaling than I do using it um, here. Here I'm taking some more of that. It's like a dark gold paint. And using a um, credit card, I'm just going to like scratch the paint into it. And I think I showed this in another video. And what's nice about it is it dries uh, fairly quickly, and it um, it covers a lot of space with not that much um, product. So I like that. Whereas a brush, sometimes it'll soak up your your product. This you're scraping every little last piece of it and I'm not covering the whole thing and that's okay I I you know that wasn't the the end result that I was looking for and I just use an old hotel key to do that and so um, I'm just uh, drying it off here and sometimes you have to dry the back off as well as the front um, it'll stay like moist Ooh, that's a gross word. <laughs> It'll stay damp in the back. So anyways, here I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to use a um, rose pink. And again, just really quickly, um, just going to add the paint all around. And you know, you have the choice here. If you want to add a lot of paint and you want it completely covered so it's just all pink, you can do that. Or you could even leave it like to the point that it's at right now. And um, you know, it just gives different looks. And that's what's nice about these white doilies is that you can kind of play with them and make them to whatever you want to do. And you can have a lot of fun. And they don't have to just, when you see something, it doesn't have to be for the purpose that it was originally intended for. Or it doesn't have to stay as one single piece. And so that's why I wanted to play around with these. So um, and it, it's a cheaper version than going out. You can buy the doilies now they have all different sizes and stuff and so you can go out and buy them in red and pink and green and whatever other color but this way you can make your own and this one I'm just going to um, cut down the middle and I just took a um, I think it's a Pro Project Life card and it's just a black and white ampersand and I am just um, you know cutting around so that the doily will fit in the back and you can see here, that I think I'm at maybe two times the speed, but I didn't give it much thought. I wanted to just throw something together and just show that you can make embellishments pretty easily. Um, just, you know, using supplies that you already have. And so um, I love that. I love being able to use things that aren't meant for a certain purpose or to be able to use all my supplies and not always just in the the only ways that just how it was intended and I think you've seen this before I just used one of those the baseball card trader little pockets and I cut some die cuts using my silhouette and I'm grabbing some out of there I think I'm using yeah there's a gold um, it's like a tab I guess um, like with triangles cut out of it I don't know and I just ran over to my sewing machine and I am going to sew it up really quick um, right there and I sewed up the side I think only and I'm grabbing some little words and a, another little die cut that I made and I'm just layering them here and I'm running it back over to the sewing machine and I'm gonna see if I can set this up where 
I have the the sewing machine next to me but right now you can see just what's there on my desk but I've got stuff on each side of me and originally my desk has drawers on the right hand side and so what my thought was is I could keep the top drawer open and kind of use it to hold stuff but it's out of control I use uh, so many things so I'm just gonna cut a notch right here um, to make it a little flag and already you see that's super cute and you can add that to a page and it's you know it could be almost done so here I'm going to take the um, the doily that I did with the gold and I'm cutting out the outside scallop of it and like I did with the first white one and I'm going to make another embellishment with that and I'm using a um, large, I think that's a two and a half inch circle, I'm not sure. And it's um, a royal blue with some like gold foil in it. And I'm looking for a craft. This one actually ended up being my favorite. It's a craft deer. And um, in the next video that, or actually the previous video, because the way that I'm, I'm posting them, the previous video I was saying how much I love deer. And... Um, so I um, I used a, a craft deer on this one, and then I'm adding some little rhinestones. No, those are not rhinestones. They're sequences. S sequences? I don't know. I don't think that's correct. It's sequins. Um, anyways, I'm adding them on here, and like I said, this one was my favorite, favorite one. And I think I'm going to go back and actually make some more embellishment using that style right there it was so easy I mean you you saw that it couldn't have taken me more than even 15 minutes at max so now I took the doily the one that I had um, sprayed with the Heidi Swap color shine and I'm using some of the I think those are the Chamel um, embellishments I'm not 100% sure I think that's the line. So I'm just using these and I am just taking some and layering them and I'm going to use the doily somehow in the back. And really I'm, again, I didn't want to give it much thought. I just wanted it to be very organic and just play and create. And I feel like when you do this kind of um, creating where you're not trying to match everything up perfectly and you're you know, you don't give that much thought to the color scheme and stuff that you end up finding your style um, easier because things just aesthetically that are pleasing to your eye, you'll just gravitate towards those and um, it'll make it more enjoyable. Um, for me, that was the thing of art is I tend to sometimes be a perfectionist, so I want it to line up, you know, and if it's a square to for it to be square and so that kind of kills me sometimes because it doesn't allow me to to really be creative and so that's kind of what I wanted um, this series to be is to just be more organic and just go with it and um, if I just think something's cute just you know put it together and here I'm just adding some a uh, little um, it's a gold arrow there you go an arrow paper clip that I got from Dollar Tree and I think it was a pack of I don't know maybe six or something it was I showed it in the haul video um, previous to this one and um, I just added it to give some interest and I think that's all I do to that one now I'm taking some of those leftovers because that's another thing I hate leaving um, even the scraps not to be used and so I am using the the outside border the scallop and I'm taking, again, that um, big hole punch. And punching out a circle with it. And I am laying the scallops up at the top. And I am actually trying to work with another circle element here, but I end up deciding that it was just too circular and I needed to use some page flags but um, I'll go ahead and tell you what I did with the process here I don't have the next size up punch so what I did is I just um, ran it some adhesive on the underneath and I layered it on top of another piece of um, pattern paper and I just fussy cut around it not worrying 
if it was a perfect circle or not. And my original thought was to lay it in the middle there, but like I said, I realized that it was um, not really what I was looking for. And so I'm going to use some other pattern paper and make some little like page flags um, with it just doing the, the edges into a V cut and um, layering them. And I, I end up liking the end result of that a lot much better. And I'm sorry I was out of frame for this. Um, I'm actually getting a new camera hopefully this week and so I'll be able to see what I'm doing. These videos have all been filmed using my iPhone and so I can't, it's on a tripod, but I can't see um, exactly what I'm doing. So um, again, I ran it through my um, sewing machine and that's actually going to be the end of it. I wanted to kind of keep it short and sweet and I will show you all the tags that I have. And I actually did make another tag um, and it did not record. So I will show it. It'll be on the top, I believe, uh, right hand side um, and you'll see it in just a minute. Um, Oh yeah, I forgot that I added some of these Tim Holtz sentiment stickers and um, I have a trouble with those stickers. Sometimes I don't want to use them because I might want to use them later for another project and so I had to just kind of bite the bullet and use it. And I know I can buy it, another, another pack of the words, but I don't know, it gives me a little bit of anxiety. So I glued down the sequence and, and there, I'm done. Um, I think I was trying to um, see if maybe I would make that into something and then at the last I decided not to. Well, that's the end. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you get some inspiration and decide to do some. Um, make sure you tag me. I'd love to see your creations. Thanks again. See you soon.